Hi everyone, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do December readings for all the zodiac signs. They are general readings, so if the message doesn't resonate with you, maybe next time. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, and shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info will be in the box below. Tarot card class videos are still up for sale. There's five of them, $20 a piece, plus a bonus video to go with it, and gift certificates to gift a reading for a friend for the holidays. By request, I'm doing Cancer. So let's see what's going on with you, Cancer, in December. Cancer, you're missing somebody? Let's see. Bottom of the deck. There we got you, Cancer. As well as uh, Pisces in Scorpio, Queen of Cups. Somebody who does wear their heart on their sleeve, but you would never know that because you keep their emotions well balanced. This is somebody who is beautiful. They're intuitive. They speak fondly in matters of the heart. So, Cancer, we're going to start off with you. And then we're going to start off with you again. <laughs> King of Cups. And again, somebody very intuitive. Somebody who is balanced in their emotions. So the King and Queen to start off with. Could be a married couple, a couple who's been together for a while, or a couple that just has the same outlook. They have the same ideas, dreams. So it's crossing the King of Cups to help or hinder. You have the Six of Wands. And this is victory, overcoming a battle, and being victorious. So... Hmm. Very interesting. Now, what do these two need to be victorious about? Hmm. Cancer, in the foundation of your reading, we have the Empress. And she is a nurturing person. She is brilliant. She's queen of all queens. Sometimes depicted as a Taurus or a Libra. But I feel that she's a little bit of every single queen. That's why she's the empress above them all. She's methodical, practical, extremely intelligent, creative, passionate. She can take an idea and birth it into the here and now. Sometimes it does mean pregnancies. But Cancer, this being in your foundation of your reading, you know, especially having a couple here, it seems to me that, you know, this relationship started off as a great relationship. Especially how you treated each other. Hmm. So interesting. Now, Cancer, what's crowning the whole reading here is the Five of Cups. And this is the Morning Loss card. This guy is devastated about the three cups that have spilt. If he just turned around, all hope is not lost. He still has two full cups. All is not lost. Maybe this was a breakup between this king and queen. 
a separation of some sort. Hmm. Maybe the goal here, Cancer, is to come back together with your counterpart. Hmm. Now, in your recent past, Cancer, you have the Four of Cups. Now, this is the daydreaming card, fantasizing. It's not that the three cups that he has aren't good enough, but that fourth cup would be amazing. Cancer, maybe you have suffered a separation, a breakup, and you still have feelings for this person. And you want them back. And you think about it. You dream about it. Because Cancer, when I see this, crowning the whole reading, this guy is in pain. And there's no one there to help him. He's by himself. Cancer, maybe your friends, your family, people around you, don't realize how much this person needs to. Now, Cancer, going into your future, we have the High Priestess. She is arced like the moon because she lets her intuition guide her. She totally trusts it. She's called the Keeper of Secrets. But Cancer, make no mistake, the High Priestess is somebody who knows a lot more than what she says. Never underestimate her. In Cancer, you're an intuitive sign as well. Are you not listening to your intuition? Maybe you're too bogged down with emotions to hear what your intuition is saying? Now, Cancer, how people see you in your environment. What is up with that? Get the devil. Now, this could mean a few things. This could be codependency. Feeling bound and tied to a situation that you don't think is ever going to end or change or a person. Obsessions, addictions, illusions. But Cancer, people are looking at you like this. Cancer, did you cause this separation, this, this breakup? That now you're regretting? Because Cancer, I do believe that you had something really great here. Something that could grow and prosper. The person that could read your thoughts, practically. And now you're suffering the loss of this person due to mischievous behavior, maybe an addiction. Hmm. Cancer, what's in your environment is the hermit. And he's a seeker of knowledge. He doesn't rely on everybody else to find out what he needs to find out. He gets it on his own. That way he knows it to be true. That lantern, that light is his intuition. And he lets it guide him. Now, we have the high priestess about intuition. Cancer, you, and the king of cups. Both are intuitive people. And so is the hermit. The hermit is also about isolation and seclusion. 
Cancer, did you retreat after this breakup, this separation? Did you isolate yourself? Perhaps doing some introspection and introspection. Bleh. Because whatever happened here, Cancer, why you're missing this person? Seems to me, and maybe this is not for everybody, but it seems to me that a lot of people are blaming you. Hmm. And Cancer, I do believe that you are full of regret, no matter what this was. Now, in your hopes and in your fears, Cancer, we have the Eight of Wands. And this is reciprocated communication. Whether you text, Skype, email, face-to-face, -face, don't matter. It's returned. Now, I definitely see this as a hope that you can communicate with your partner, your significant other. Try to work things out. Try to hash things out. And try to get that victory of being together again. But cancer... No matter what this is, no matter what you did, the people are making you out to be the, the bad person here. It cut that other person pretty deep. Because your outcome card, Cancer, is the Five of Pentacles. And this is feeling outcasted, shunned, cut out, blocked, casted out. So like I said, Cancer, this, your partner is very hurt right now to the point where they don't want to communicate with you. They don't, they don't want anything to do with you. Wow. Whoa, Cancer. I think the best case scenario here is to try to keep communication open and try to communicate. Express how you feel. Apologize, Cancer, if you have to. For whatever happened here. So, you don't get completely shut out of this person's life. So, whoa, Cancer, that's what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.